What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I'm sure you've already seen my detailed building review about the Creator Expert Vespa set. If you missed it somehow, then I suggest to click on the link in the top right corner and watch it. Today I will build the small scale version, the 40517 Creator Vespa set and put both side by side to see how they look together. I'm sorry, could you please repeat the question? The hot rod? Ah, uh, that one. Thanks for pointing out, as this stunning build will also get some screen time in today's video. When I first saw these wheels on the Vespa, I knew instantly that they will be perfect for cars as well. This white wall tire look is gorgeous and it has tons of potential. The only issue is the width, but luckily I have a fix for that. But let's take a look at this small Vespa first. If you are very impatient and you are interested in the hot rod, then use the time codes below. So this is a small creator set for 10 euros or dollars with only 118 pieces. There are two unnumbered bags in the box, a manual which was unfortunately not placed properly here and a tiny sticker sheet. The build begins with some fairly new pieces, both the 1x5 plate and this wheel support fork were introduced last year. Actually the set has a lot of recent and new parts, so if you want something new in red then it can be a good parts pack for the price. Another little curiosity, the jumper plate could have been a 1x2 plate, but since the set has two other jumper plates, but no simple plates, they use this one as it fits under the slope just as well and it reduces the number of different parts required. Here's the rear light with the license plate, a nice Vespa logo and a nod to the year when the model was introduced. The rear section is now practically finished. The whole front section is built sideways. Yet another innovative use of this weird Technic piece to act as a wheel support. Very cool. This is the only jumper plate out of the three that really need to be this piece to support the headlight. As always, creator loves Technic, this yellow axle is used to connect the two halves. The rear wheel is held in place with this 3 module long pin, another part that was introduced recently. Only a few pieces to add and we are finished. So here is our little scooter side by side with its big brother. I think they look really cool together, but the small scale Vespa is a great build on its own. It has all the characteristic details, it is instantly recognizable and the build was quite enjoyable, 10 bucks well spent. It does not have steering and it's too big for the Technic figures, but we can't have everything unfortunately. So let's move to the wheels. The Creator Expert Vespa set introduced these awesome motorcycle rims and tires I totally fell in love with this white wall design. It has one drawback, seems to be too narrow for cars. Luckily the guys at LEGO still think in a system, at least I really hope it's not a coincidence. The diameter of the rim is 62.3mm, the width is 20.3mm. If we take a look around to see what rims have the same diameter, then ta-da, the ones from the 318 scale Technic supercars. And thankfully, their width is almost exactly the same as two of these rims. I'm sure you already know what's my plan. You can take the tires from these cars and it fits almost perfectly on two of these new rims. So besides the narrow wheel, we have this messy chunky one as well. So which car needs such combination? A hot rod of course. And this is where this great model appears. This is an alternate build of the 42127 Batmobile set designed by Nico71. I'm sure you know the guy, he's a very talented builder with tons of great stuff on his channel. Click on the link in the top right corner to take a look around there. You can also find the link to the alternate builds instructions in the description. So this is his bucket hot rod alternate model of the Batmobile. I think it looks great with all the details. He integrated many functions and used interesting building techniques all around. If you want me to do a more detailed presentation of this alternate model, then please let me know in the comments. I could even spice up that video with some extra content, so I would definitely vote yes if I were you. Now we are focusing on one detail that was inherited from the Batmobile, the wheels. I mean, yes, they are okay this way, but now let's try these. So here is our little upgrade pack from the Vespa. Now let's add some 6x6 dishes for a fully menacing look. Yeah, I'll be cheating a bit since I only managed to grab two extra rims and tires, which means I only have four in total and would need six for this stunt. Anyway, here's the end result and I think the look is absolutely breathtaking. I really hope my next Bricklink order will arrive soon with more wheels, because poor Vespa won't get back these anytime soon. So again, to achieve this look you need 6 of the new rims, 2 new tires and 2 from one of the supercars. Everything can be found on Bricklink, the links can be found in my blog post. 
Please let me know what you think about this combination and if you have any ideas what other models could be upgraded with them. Tell me also how you like this small Vespa and uh, which one would you get from these two. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications as more interesting LEGO content is coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.